Go to the file and new and go for custom size of 3840 or maybe I might like to use 128 times 30 or times 20. The key thing is it's 128, 128 times something like five or 10 or 15. And you can just put multiplication. So you can just go 128 times 30 and you can see the value there. So once you've done that, just click create. Now you've got this, because what happens, this makes a seamless tile for the difference filter. Now you can find the difference filter in the filter menu, but the key thing is just set it here. Just go over here, set the colors. So you can have maybe black and white. So you could go with that, perfectly reasonable, and then use the difference filter. So filter, and you can see I've got that there, repeat, but you can find it in render and difference clouds. Now there's no particular functionality that comes with this. However, there is one. Hold down the alter option key and it will create a more contrast effect. I'm just gonna quickly show you the difference, you got that. So hold down the alter option key and again, difference clouds. And you can see the result. It's far more a contrast sort of effect. And you can of course do that multiple times. So just hold it down at the same time, the alter option key, and you can see the effect. And again, this is a seamless tile. So you can apply it again and again. And as you do it, it becomes like a more marble-like effect. So just apply it more and more times. And you can see the result there. And of course, what you can always do, you can apply other filters as well on top of this. Just to see it's a seamless, you can of course go to edit and define as pattern. So you can just save that and then use it. But another option is view and pattern preview. And you can see the design. It is a seamless design. You can see it. You can zoom there and you can see. Now, you will see lines in it. It's not perfect, but it's a reasonable. Obviously, this is a document about 3,800, whatever. You can see that you can create an interesting design. However, now you can't unfortunately use the difference cloud now with pattern preview. So I'm just going to turn it off. But I wanted to show you that it is a seamless tile, but you can continue to apply it. Hold down the alter option key if you want or not, doesn't matter. But every time you do it, you get a random design that's like this. It's not that random, of course, it does look like. However, what you can do, you can change the color. So you can go and say, well, you know what? I want say this color or blue or yellow. So you've got purple and yellow. And now just run it again, filter. You can use this if you want, or just go to render and again, difference clouds and apply it again. And you can see you get this nice, colorful effect again. And then over and over again, you just keep applying it. So filter, difference cloud, apply it like that, and you can get all kinds of really wonderful color effects. And of course, what you can then do is you can always go to filter and stylize and oil paint. Though it should be noticed, you can see in the preview that it does set the values quite high. It does require a couple of reruns of this. Because if you apply it, it doesn't look like it's done much. It has, if you zoom in, you will see that it actually has applied the effect. So if I just zoom in there, you can see the result of that, but it doesn't look like it's done much. But you can apply this, and I'm just undoing, of course, to go back. Again, another thing you can do, of course, you've got this nice effect, just using the, just go down here again to render and difference clouds, and you can change that color all the time. You don't have to keep with that. Maybe go for white, just apply it again, filter, difference clouds, and just see the effect there. But also what you can do, you've got edit, and you've got fade difference clouds as well. So you can go there, and then of course you can go through and say darken, maybe multiply, just run through them, lighten, overlay. So there's literally thousands of combinations just from the difference filter, difference cloud filter. I always call it just difference filter, but that's, but obviously that's not, it's, right. so subtract. You can see the result there, difference, excuse me, maybe go for difference, something like that. And you can see the result. And again, you can always go to view and pattern preview, and you can see the result. Again, a lovely seamless design. It is still seamless design. Again, I'm gonna turn that off because it does seem to come up and say, you can't use that. However, what you can also do, of course, is you can create a layer. You can always go to layer and new layer, now, what you need to do with that, you need to fill it with something. Just quickly go, because if you try and run it now, it will come up with an error. 
you say could not complete because it's empty. So you need to go and fill something. So edit and fill. Just fill it with anything, it doesn't matter. And then apply the filter, difference clouds, and you can see the effect again you've got there, that one. However, of course, as it's a layer, just simply go over there to the layers, just drag that over there so you can see it. You can run through and you can run through and you can see the result of that. And of course you can still continue to apply the difference one and difference again and so on. So you can create even more designs. And of course the underlying design you can apply effects to as well and much, much more. What you can also, of course, is to, you could distort the design. You can then maybe resize the design. You don't have to have it up there. You could have it just say there, rotate it and so on and so on create all kinds of unique combinations of this design. Well, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.